Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> Sriracha, 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 Sriracha. We're sponsored by them. Sponsored by them. <laughs> uh, dude. Good so shot. wait, what are you gonna donate to? Dude, wait, I did not it? take it with cock. We need a official judge's ruling because if cock God, is a bad course. word, then I don't want to be right. That would have gotten edited out of of NSFW show. They wouldn't have let cock stand. I also thought you said oh, pussy oh. after it. I think no. it's a real shame they would not let the cock stand. I just <laughs> I mean, say, I mean, that's no. What, man, cocks be cacking. That's what they do. I say I say, we take it over to straw poll, and we have a vote right now whether or not cock is a belt word or not. Okay, yes, cock is a rooster, but if in the context it's I'm going to split you with my cock. <laughs> well, I did go on to elaborate and, and elucidate that I was talking about no, a giant after rooster. You were already on, you were already arguing balls and strikes. I mean, Okay, like uh, all of a sudden, what, what, what are you going to be against? Fish fingers next? That's that's your next thing? Mm, I am. I, uh, oh. let's, yeah, let's is pussy another... a belt word? Hey, by the way, hmm. uh, uh, oh, I don't know. Is pussy a belt word? I'm asking Ashley now. By the way, I have a straw pull up. <clears throat> um, by the way, did I ever give to Bernie Sanders as a belt bet? I think so. Because I no, definitely you, got you a did visit. not. I did. No, wait. I, I definitely I, got a visit asking for me by name from a Bernie canvasser. I'm uh, uh, last week. Pretty what? sure you really? that you guys made me bet or made me give it to it. We might. It might have been both. I mean, in two different situations, we we might have both wound up feeling. Uh, the wait, burn. describe what happened. Uh, you got a what? A visitor a that knew his name. Oh yeah. So yeah, a canvasser came to my door. I am not a registered Democrat and I have not signed up for any Bernie mailing lists, but somebody came to my door asking for me and uh, trying to give me a, uh, a, a, a thing, a, a cardboard sign to put up in my window. T2T2 T2 says uh, in your uh, response to your tweet when it happened that only Brian has. So Apparently, we, only I one of us loves freedom. The other one of us is the one percent. It's just like, hey, are you Justin Brian's friend? Because I want to talk to you about that. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. And then he goes, Sriracha, 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 Sriracha. Uh, by else. the way, here we go on DC TV media on the belt's official listing NSFW era rules, bad words, fuck, shit, cunt, tits, cock. The N word, uh, wankerel rotary engine. <laughs> uh, the only ones that were borderline that we let go were goddamn and ass. Uh, but look, cock not in the context of a rooster. I mean, first of all, I very oh. clearly made it in the context of a rooster. Rooster. Mm. <clears throat> How is pussy not on there? Yeah. In the, not in the context. Fucking of racist. A, not in the context. Fucking sexist. Of a, of a cat. Fucking yes, all all people. Yes, all genitals. Hashtag yes, all genitals. Um, man, why are you trying to duck this belt? Pussy. Your knees hurt from trying to duck this belt so hard? Pussy. I mean, I don't understand why you hate women so much. You feel like you just, just say, say pussy like, all day long. You're saying like, like this shit is going in bullet time because Brian's trying to duck this belt so hard. Mm. <laughs> it's like. It's it's Wait. clearly written in the rules. Just accept it. I'll tell you what. You know what? I'll give a hundred dollars what? to whatever you want. What? I mean, if you feel like if this is this is the hill you want to die on, I'll give a hundred dollars. This isn't the hill I want. I want you to mm. spend so, whatever. I mean, if somebody you care so much, mm. Mm. you want you want you want to stand up against mm. Chat Realm's vote. I I think the vote should stand. Mm. But if you want to read a piece of paper and look me in the eye, say I got to give money. I say I'll sip. I'll support you ten times over. Where do you want your hundred dollars to go, Capitan? All right, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. You 
So wait, then then who? Then, if you don't get then it, then what? Escom's got to donate. <laughs> then where do I have to donate? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> this didn't work out. There. I thought I was using a political, uh, clever play. It didn't. It didn't work out so hot. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Why don't we all do uh, this? Uh, yeah. So uh, 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 Brian can just dock your pay. <laughs> <laughs> you can, it'll just uh, come right out of your check. Okay. To the let's store. say. Let's say, for sake of discussion, we were all gonna chip in. Let's just all admit we all cursed a little bit. We all put a little money in. The <laughs> oh, Brian! I don't think that's how it works. What do you mean, <laughs> Justin? Was was clean this whole episode. No clean. bullshit. He totally won it. He had it for the majority of the episode by time. You I, played well, the fucking right. music at the beginning. He How are you beginning. saying no, Justin? What do you mean? I didn't have it at the beginning. What the fuck? Am I the only one who remembers <laughs> him playing the music and everybody shouting belt and us all saying, "Whoa, Brian's off the look, look at the will. The will of the chat room. Doctor Payne. Uh, no, uh, that's fine. Oh, you out? He had it once. Yeah, I was I was excited, but then you went and screwed it up, Brian. Wait, wait, wait what do you mean? Bell. You definitely didn't mean a rooster. You you gotta accept responsibility. Okay, first of all, yeah, mm. look, I promote gender equality. Can't speak for you guys. Mm. I think <laughs> I think if you're gonna demonize the cock, you gotta demonize the pussy. And I, I love, agree. I don't know about I you guys. I agree. I love the pussy, and I think the pussy has a place on the show. If you wanna if you wanna say suddenly pussy is a dirty word. You wanna you wanna demonize that shit? We can do that. I mean, I'm okay with that. Oh, mm. stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be on the list. What uh, cock or pussy? You put on the pussy. list. That's fine. You think pussy should I be on the list? I think it should. What is what is our other correspondent over there? What does Ashley say? Uh, I don't know. Wait, she walked out of the room. She's just like, oh, fucking pussies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She just she's tired. All right, all right. Where, where where do you want me to donate? Because uh, apparently I should be ashamed to love cock. No, I mean, no. So wait, hold on, wait. Did I would I did I have it or did Neshcom have it? Uh, well, no, you, Brian you, you did. had it. Uh, I I earned it early on. You took it shortly after. Neshcom got, got it, it but it I wasn't clear shit. whether or not he was ever in the game. But right. then immediately after that, uh, no, you uh, immediately after that you said cock, and. I thought you said pussy, but you said fish. Uh, you know what? I just say let's all give ten dollars to something. <laughs> well, that's not fun. <laughs> well, I mean, what 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 are we gonna? Uh, what should we give to? Can we give it to butt cancer? Uh -oh. I mean, like normally that's the fun part. <laughs> Is, uh, all right, uh, here, let, look, look. I can, I'm gonna give ten dollars to. We anal can cancer. say, hey, listen, this is a, this is a disputed belt, and we roll over to twenty dollars next week. I'm gonna I give. Like I like that. Okay, but. So who but. said pussy? B -U -T -T. Okay, so now the question, Ashley's here. The question is, is pussy, should pussy be on the list of words we we can't say or else we get the belt? Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, I uh, fucked her in the never, pussy. Kimlin's dog had a big old pussy. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> By the way, the chat Is that belt. the exact quote? <laughs> that's, well, that's the, the dictionary quote. Okay. Yeah. Um, By the way, analcancerfoundation.org is what I would like to donate to. Well, you don't get to pick who you donate to. I'm just saying. Like you're in your life. I w look. Th these are these are. Uh, can, can you go to analcancerfoundation.org? They have compelling <clears throat> pictures. Is this gonna be like a screamer or something? No, this, it's okay. really not. It's it's at, it's the HPV and Anal Cancer Foundation, and if we're gonna give it to anyone, I think it should be these guys. These guys are brave heroes who have survived a very challenging. Are disease. we trying to kill the bed? No. No. <laughs> Unless you want to give it to Cody Hewitt, that would be killing the bed. <laughs> Just refund his Patreon. <laughs> Basically, make it like a cash cow. It's the best. Uh, it's the best dollar an episode he ever pledged because it's suddenly, suddenly all of a sudden, we're paying him. We're like, ah! <laughs> um. Well, okay. If you don't want, if you don't want to take the belt, I will donate to the HPV Anal Cancer Foundation. Oh, uh, I, I first of all. I call dibs. <laughs> you can't pick your own <laughs> thing. I'm, I'm gonna, you, you can't know, pick okay, your okay, own fine, donate fine, thing. Fine. 
Should we? I, I say I say it's a dis- disputed belt. Uh, we roll just, it over yeah. to next I week. I mean, uh, oh, uh, 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 and by the way, I blame uh, I blame uh, Bryce uh, <laughs> because uh, he is the producer. He needs to keep a, a firm ruling on these things. I think cock and pussy are not allowed. Oh, I really? Think, I would think they would. So you be... hate both sexes equally? Yeah, I hate all genitals. Okay, <laughs> I'm asexual now. Yes, all genitals <laughs> and animals. Not all genitals. All <laughs> sex, yeah, not all. Hey, hey, no, all any genitals. genitals. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. We'll ro- we'll we'll roll it. Yeah, I say we it. roll it forward. Roll it forward. Dispute a belt. Oh, Dispute a sh- belt. Jesus, J.C. Calvin, come on. Oh. What did he write? What did he write? <laughs> the twit chip tip jar. What? Oh no. Oh. Omgchad.com slash tip. Okay, we'll roll it next week. We'll do it next week. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> J.C. Calhoun, come on, man. <laughs> that would really be great. That's a great one. That's <laughs> definitely. Really you funny. couldn't waste that on me. Don't waste next, that on me, dude. It's too that. dark. Next week. Next <laughs> no, week we got to do that one. Oh, come behavior. on. Come <laughs> on. Oh, they just doubled down on having to be really good next week. <laughs> yeah, by the way, way it. to kill the bit <laughs> forever. Like, nobody will ever curse <laughs> on this show ever again. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it. Uh, all right. So, uh, can we, can we uh, now that we're clear of this immediate consequence, can, can, we, can we settle on is, is cock in reference to one's cock, even if you then go on a retcon about, <laughs> about poultry uh, insertion? Uh, okay. If, if, if both are on the list, then fine. Yes. We will refrain, refrain from slang terms for genitalia. I think that's sensible with the with one of the tenets of the belt of trying to curve cur curve yeah curb curb, curb. 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 put it on the curb curb yeah uh, curb vanity let's just see <laughs> curb. oh man twenty bucks in the twit tip jar <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna keep rolling over. welcome to the cleanest show on the internet <laughs> <laughs> night attack. <laughs> It's just oh gonna keep God. rolling forward. It's gonna be like a the new theme song is like a ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like yeah, it's gonna be really expensive for somebody one day, and it better be worth it. <laughs> Everybody says double or nothing. I don't know how you guys think that works. It doubles each episode <laughs> it becomes like a sixteen hundred dollar. Oh, like a rolling, like a progressive jackpot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh hey, uh, great show, everybody. Let's pick a show title. Oh yeah. yeah, is Dick okay? Is yeah, Dick... is Dick okay? Mm. Is half cocked. What about okay? Wanger? <laughs> what about Johnson? What about Wiener? Oh my God! By the way, what about I old just... Schlongy? <laughs> California Carl, uh, uh, author of such repeated text messages as "Have you bought Santa a beard yet?" Uh, <laughs> has just uh, texted me. Thank you for signing up for the Pol Pot reminder service. Your reminder. $20 belt payable to Twit Tip Jar will be sent on June 14. <laughs> 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 to unsubscribe, type unsubscribe. Yeah. <clears throat> the grip says to exempt me from the belt. No, 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 no. I'm I, in on the game. I get it. Oh, oh, I know. I, I feel okay being I didn't a know. Part of I didn't it. know you were okay with being in, in on the game. Yeah. All right, right on. I just wouldn't have wanted to. to <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I just don't want to win the game. I don't want to win. <laughs> Uh, so here's some some titles we got: Cracking the Whip on Racial Tolerance. Oh wow! Beer pressure. Beer pressure. That Don't awesome. Brody that Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Passing the crap pipe. Crack pipe. Freestyling, huh? Cock is fine. Poop That's your pants right. and do a somersault. Pipe <laughs> thralls balls. I kind of really like pipe thralls balls. <laughs> I like that too. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm done with that. Oh, I know. The- <laughs> I think people might need to see it written so they understand past your tusks. You know, so like maybe that'll help them. My thralls balls. That's a difficult phrase to say. <laughs> oh, hey, we don't have subtitles on your show, do we? No. No. It's a damn shame. <laughs> Because then my daughter could find it and pretend it's reading. <laughs> yeah, that's Except my... Except until she gets to the bit of <laughs> the missing Brushwood daughter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, don't talk about Sandy. Uh, that's, that is my, my tip for 
And, and he put it on Pinterest. It's like, how to get your kids to read. Just put subtitles on, on your TV show and on their TV shows and turn down the volume. Yeah. Okay. That was lame. No, Good no, night, everybody. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 <laughs> would do that. I would. That was too practical to be funny. Yeah. Was oh. the problem. I mean, I would watch closed captions and subtitles <laughs> when I was a kid. Did you? It's like TV, yeah. But I would have too if I had TV, but I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> One up at me then. Okay. Oh, yeah. No. Wow. All right. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the game on asshole game tournament. on asshole tournament. The Hearthstone tournament happened over the weekend. <clears throat> Whoa! Uh, well, I'm going to bed. I got summer camps to get kids to. Uh, Good night, buddy. Uh, Good night, everybody. Oi! Oi! I don't know who won or how you can watch the cast. Tinvec and oh, uh, so Tinvec said, "Did you dr get drunk and pass out all weekend?" Well, then you probably missed on the game on asshole tournament 2016. Fear not, for the Doc Master RR and myself made a recording of us casting that very Hearthstone tournament. Catch all the coin, Sylvanus's Ragna RNG action that you slept through on my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/Tinvec. If you uh, are making it to CreateCon, find me and laugh as I fumble my way through a cast of the grand finals. Between Alanon 6666 and Whiskey Wolf. No! I'm out of cards! Which, uh, apparently. <clears throat> I'm out of cards! <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. Oh, oh. So, beep, beep, beep. There we go. You can find it on his web zone. Uh, but yeah, no, Alex, uh, Hannah, aka Tinvec. Uh, did he casted uh, casted the tournament? Look at that! Yeah, it was I. I was watching them set all that stuff up in the the DC Discord, and uh, they they actually didn't do the casting live. They recorded them and then did it after the fact, which is like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Mitsula uh, tweeted out. <laughs> I think this is the show title. By the. Rawls, balls, yeah. <laughs> I thralls balls. An emoji. It's pretty good. Oh, you know what? No, this probably is wingdings because it has some wingdings here, and it does. that's great. Dude, wait, wait. Were wingdings the original emojis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Man, that's fun. Like, I, wow. Like, you just don't want to be too early, right? It's like wingdings reviled as dumb, useless nonsense, and emojis are like, oh my god, finally, the future's here. Meanwhile, wingdings is sitting around saying, man, I played the blues before the white man took it. <laughs> well, and you know, when wingdings came out, they were actually really practical uh, because... Yeah, they were like arrows pointing to different stuff, and, yeah. you know, it's like sometimes you'd want to show cum drips, and so you would use them. Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes you'd like to illustrate somebody 69ing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that was an inter-office memo back in 93. <clears throat> Attention, all. <laughs> and then I had to write in brackets, pretend I'm mimicking two people 69ing yeah. each other. But then, luckily, Wingdings came along. And, and now... Wingdings, you know, I mean, uh, the future is now for... Simultaneous suck it, and the depiction thereof. Did uh one keystroke? Did did There's you no ever... stroking if you've got your mouth full with a desire to simulate a sixty nine in keyboards? There's a. Did you ever get into the band Ministry in the early nineties? Uh, I, I can't say I was a fan, but I do. I was. I was aware of them. I, I am. I am aware of Ministry's music. Yes, they had a. Uh, they had a song called Psalm sixty nine. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, the subtitle to the song was "The Way to Succeed," and the way to suck eggs. Nice. Took uh, me uh. about a year to figure out that that was all about sixty ninety. Ah, the way look at to that. suck seed. Suck seed. And the way to suck Suck eggs. eggs. Yeah. That. And there was definitely, you know, uh, it's it's so weird to, you know, remember back to a time when I thought it was outrageous for a 17-year-old to walk up and down the, you know, uh, halls of public school wearing uh, essentially the cancer symbol, 
Yeah. But I'm like, oh my god, that's that's one person sucking on another one's genitals. Ooh. Ooh. That was me on the side. I was like, every time they walked by, I was like, ooh. Hi, Big Jim. Ooh. Uh... Well, you know, like that's that's you in in your in your embryonic phase. You know, you're just uh, you're just learning your way in the world. Sure, you're slowly developing your skills with your with your signature coup. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was I went to I saw this girl to my right. She was like, ah, la, la, la. every time they walked by, she was like, ah, that's la, something la, a lot of people like, don't know about Texas is that. All the children are not permitted to speak at anything but one completely uh, uh, onomatopoeia. Ah, one la, signature la, la, onomatopoeia is all they get. Ah, la, 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 la. That sounds like some shit that they would actually do at like a Montessori school up here, though. <laughs> hey, all right, this is getting too real. Just about yeah, now. No. You know, there's these. You, you, you all heard of these uh, these uh, adult summer camps? Uh, I think I've heard like of summer camp with a bunch of fucking. Uh, Probably, I guess I hadn't necessarily thought of it as that. It it is very. It's a little like, you know, like these uh, like the the hippie kind of stuff. Uh, but now you can just call it like mindfulness. <laughs> sure, sure. You know. Yeah, that works. So like this is like a big thing now. Is like, hey, you can leave, leave your digital life behind, and now come to camp because camp was great and. You can come and do some stuff, and it's oh, yeah. great. For the record, I'm sorry that I fell asleep for 20 minutes and all websites look the same now. Well, because they all became easy to make. I know, right? They all they all went to squarespace.com, and all of us looked yeah. the same. Like, all right, compare that not to, lately. Not to lately, but okay. the, the modernrogue.com. <laughs> yeah, take a look at that. Take a look at that. It looks, uh, looks a little bit the same. So we got, we got uh, this. This is camp something. Yeah. All right. Let's go to a totally different website. Totally different website. Wait. That's a totally different website. All right. Now go to stickers or diem.com. Totally different website. Although that is in Squarespace. That's uh, that's Shopify. Hmm. So we got Modern Rogue and the. Yeah. And then. Oh, huh, it's a cover page. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. I don't know if I can put a, a a video. I probably should put a video. I mean, yeah, you should. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know if I can. Uh, it's another website. Uh, yeah, no, but these uh these these things they're all at least the ones that I've I have friends at like they you you have to come up with like a camp name, and like, like so you're like sunshine. You're not. Brian, you don't have to be Brian anymore. Can uh, I be? Now you can be uh, uh, a water full. Uh, water fills my Miller Lite can. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Miller Extra Light. <laughs> Miller Lightweight. You can call me uh, Lightweight Miller. Mm. Yeah, it's like this whole new uh, this whole new thing, and like you don't uh, you don't have email. But you can write letters, and people there's like somebody that will like hand write out your the emails that you get. So somebody can like write you a letter via email, and they'll they'll be given to you as a letter. That's good. Uh, hey, can I can I offer a coy heads up that tomorrow I'm gonna release a thing, and I'm gonna request people share it at places that they think. It could snowball to a front page of. Yeah, you're not. You're gonna watch it. You're not gonna. I mean, it's like I've already uh, watched it. You're not it. gonna have to sub read it either. No, 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 no. no. But it's just. Um, let's say there was a place had a very specific fantasy. You wanna go where people know the videos are all the same. You want to go where everybody knows your shame. <laughs> do, do you... Yeah, you go to a website, the first thing it does is go, Justin! Yeah. <laughs> Cheers for you. Making the way in the world today takes everything you got. 
Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying. I was trying to think of a pair of hurt a that. whole lot when your dick flies in that slot. Wouldn't you like to meet a girl? <laughs> Turns out she's 14. <laughs> this is the theme song to, to catch a predator. You are embarrassed and you're ruined. Ba -ba -ba. Da, da, da. And you always knew you shouldn't. <laughs> Da, da, da. You just wanted to have a conversation with somebody who cares. But guess what you just discovered? She doesn't have hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was a good save. Good save. Good save. Night attack is so She does. She just has a high bitch voice. And now Chris Hansen's in your face. Did you want to eat that cookie or did you not? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so Guy is attacking you in a ghillie suit the moment you walk away. Man, that was a weird point in our history when we used to uh, gladiatorially embarrass pedophiles on television. <sighs> so shameful. <laughs> it's just a weird, it's like a weird moment because I feel like in, in that moment, everyone was like, oh, yeah, who has, uh, I mean, because obviously a very, not exactly. No one's lining up to defend the pedophiles, right? Like you know, because even if you feel like ah, maybe this isn't right, no one's want to, no one wants to raise their hand and be like, "I'll stick up for the creep." Um, but at the same time, a little weird that we like took out our little area of our public square to be like, like ah, these guys. Well, and and what I want to know is behind the scenes, who is just like um, yes, my God, wait. This Chris Hansen funded an independent to catch a predator? Yes. This was in April of last year, I oh, believe. Oh, jeez. They posted an update uh, in this past May saying, hey, it's been crazy. We're just trying to see where it's going to air. It's been a year. How much money did he get? He got uh, $89,000. Nice. Contender How made more. How much <laughs> did he ask for? Uh, I don't know. Let me look I at mean, that. Okay, can we all agree? A seventy-five thousand dollar goal. Can we can we agree that somebody who is attracted to people of an inappropriately young age is mentally ill? Yes. Can somebody explain to me how somebody says I have an idea about shaming the mentally ill? <laughs> <laughs> and outing them <laughs> for their mental illness. How how do how do we get here? Well, because you can get away with a lot because you can focus it on the crime. Although at the same time, like let's take it that step further and be like, oh, are you gonna like gaslight somebody to commit a murder? And when, <laughs> right? And Where it's just like, like, and, oh, we hang out in chat rooms for people who fantasize about murder. And we just act like people who love to get killed. Oh, my. My life is really terrible. I wish somebody would end it. I fucking love being killed. No, uh, or just take it to, like, like, be like, oh, wait, like, hey, uh, by the way, I've been, I've, been, I've been fucking your wife. And here are fucking Photoshop pictures of me fucking your wife. She said, you're a piece of shit. Oh, what, do you have a problem? Kill me, motherfucker. Come to my house and fucking kill me, you piece of shit. And then he's like, like, fuck it, all right, I'll kill you, you motherfucker. He goes what, uh, and then it's like it goes a step farther. It's just like, uh, oh, hey, uh, man, you're a piece of shit pussy asshole. Look, here's a Photoshop of me fucking your mom. And then they just keep teasing him. And it's like they look up his, his tax records. And you're like, oh, I only made uh, $8,000 last year. And I'm on public assistance. <laughs> I'm you. Fuck you. Oh, he always like he runs in and he's got his knife and Chris Hansen's just sitting there with his plate of cookies. Like, so what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so somebody you, says you, like I enter into you. Or, seems so, like so, you have a uh, you have a knife in your hand. Uh, so, you somebody says somebody. I enter into a contractually uh, uh, a binding uh, 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 consensual arrangement by which I will duel against you to the death. And then he shows up with a with a pistol, and it's just like, hmm, 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 hmm. Seemed hmm. like you were gonna murder that man. Well, was that is that it? Were you gonna murder him? Well, I mean, we were both gonna murder each other. It's uh, 
It's it called, is going to sound called, like John Stossel, but it's only because they both have manicured broadcaster voices. <clears throat> I mean, it's. It, it would be better if it were hosted. It was, it was by consensual. Trump. It was consensual. We were both going to murder each other. Man, I was watching uh, some some Stossel the other day, like because he just posted a clip on on Twitter. Yeah. That dude, I know we've we've just been continually fascinated and love and are just super fans of John Stossel, but like that man and rhetorical questions, just the best. I I want every argument I ever have to just be peppered with John Stossel rhetorical questions because it's like, especially now that he's just like on he's on the what Fox Business right? Yeah, he's on this like super libertarian network. Right. And he is libertarian superstar guy. And he's hosting a show about being a libertarian. And then, of course, his first question, it's like uh, uh, Sweden wants to give everybody ten thousand dollars. No questions asked. Uh, and so, of course, the first question to his panel of two libertarian people, by the way, one is just arguing like out of like devil's advocate positions, like uh, from some paper that Milton Friedman wrote, probably drunk one night. Right. Like as her backup is just like, so we should just give him all the money. Right. Like, just like, <laughs> here we go. Here's the yeah, clip. play, play, play. Here's coverage of a promotion for the ballot measure. Cash by the truckload. The proposed basic income initiative arrived with a splash and the promise of 2,000 euro a month for every Swiss citizen intended to let them live without basic financial worry. Live without could, financial Could you hear worry? the, the, the cringing in his voice? Basic financial worry. No, here, no, go back, go back, because it, it's also coming out of it that fucking killed me. Financial worry, what a great idea, says Elizabeth Nolan Brown, an editor at Reason.com. No, it's a terrible idea, says economist Ed Stringham. So, Elizabeth, you got to convince me. Why, why is this a good idea? People will just waste the money and then government will say, well, you have to spend more. Awesome. Well, I, think, and I just, I I just that love that. Hold on, I actually want to hear the rest of this now. I'm really excited. <laughs> Waste the money and then uh, be, because, here, say, uh, pause this because this is actually this is actually one of those things where I'm trying very hard to reconcile my uh, I don't know my my beliefs about in um, uh, incentives and so on with the fact that like we live in a future where robots are about to replace a third of all of our jobs like that is not a fiction that is a fact in that world. Do you just come up with 8 billion different individual programs or I, part of me loves the idea of a UBI of a universal basic that's, that's income. Her, so basically uh, I can summarize the clip is, is her point is that, that uh, you know, even Milton Friedman said that if you are going to have a welfare state, it would be better and more efficient to just give total out the sum total of what somebody would get from all programs, cut the staff of those programs and just give them, that pile of money. Cause if we're really committed to giving the pile of money, we might as well just give them the pile of money and not have the, the, the big staffs there. So at least if we're going to be dumb and light money on fire, then, and I'm not saying all social programs are dumb and lighting money on fire, but like, however they are, they are traditionally very, very inefficient and, and have a lot of difficulty. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And so, so that, that's, that's her point. And then of course the other side is that like, you know, we are a very caring nation and that, even if we did give those, give the big lump sum of money, all it would mean is that now that some lump sum of money is entrenched and there will always still be political incentives for, but look at this family that now, even with the paltry sum they get from the government still is in basic need. And so you'll just have to create new programs that solve those needs because we're a very compassionate country and we always want to take care of people. And that's kind of our shit. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a complicated issue that should uh, and be by the solved way, I love this, in the after show of a comedy first, program. Uh, every single America got 2K cash for free, no questions asked. Uh, I, I can only imagine how many of them would be running right to Mitzula. I <laughs> 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 have to turn that two into four. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. I, I hesitate to go any deeper on anything, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is literally just us, like, fingering our libertarian buttholes and, like, asking everybody to watch. <laughs> Yeah, that should be a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> uh, 
I just like that as because like no matter what, that's a really awkward thing, right? To like finger your own butthole for an audience. Well, I mean, at that point, Disagree. like, are you doing it for your? So you're pro. So here's the question. This is the existential question, right? You're on stage. Uh, you uh, <clears throat> you know, you're halfway. Yeah. Um, oh, I, uh, you immediately took it to the stage, which is interesting. Right. Not... Uh, well, I mean, for other people, right? So the question is, like, at this moment, are they watching the actual folds or are they watching my reaction, right? No, you got to give them the full Monty, right? Well, okay, because if they're watching it for my reaction, then uh, at that point, I should do it for my own enjoyment and like really be in the pleasure right oh you gotta go you're 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 uh uh uh, uh, uh back down legs up yeah missionary butt fingering yeah and then I your mean, head yeah, is just, hold, hold on your, your head is just like the coy sun over the horizon <laughs> just like <laughs> i mean i don't know I, I i think it's more about the uh you know the emotional side of things it's about whether or not mm, Ryan, you just want to bring yeah, this is like your boogie nights moment, man. Like you want to make porn matter again. Like you know, <laughs> let, let's 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 elevate this a little bit. I, I I'm just saying, like you know, if it's just about the flesh, then why bother to have a human attached to it at all? You know, why not just take one of those old? Uh... You're breaking the microphone with this bit now. Huh? <laughs> Am I doing what? The connection. Could, could firm up that connection to the microphone, please. What do, What do you mean? Wait, what's it happening? Was, it's crackling, so can you... It was crackling a little sure bit, but that's know. fine. Yeah, I, I just thought Brian was talking too real, and, and the mic couldn't... No, I mean... Them. Yeah. I don't know. Do people go to strip clubs for the empowerment, or uh, do they go to see some play? I mean, hypothetically, if I ever set foot in one of those dens of sin, I'd want to see <laughs> somebody who is present and enjoying herself, and probably I'd oh, care yeah, about that more than her body. Dead-eyed strippers, like, no one's having a good time. Right, that's what I'm saying. Nobody wants to see a dead-eyed finger, uh, uh, butt finger, fingerler. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see them present and having a good time, right? If we're going to finger our own but butts, it should fingerler? be good. No, but, but that's the like, you got your You got your, your legs, like, up, right? And then you're like, Woo! <laughs> Okay, but but like, is your face a prop, or should you be reflecting the genuine joy of exploration of your own posterior? No, you're just you're just like it's a little smaller, right? But you know, your face is like the sun in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's just like this big glowing orb of happiness in the background. No, I I feel like like that's the the real star. Like like if people had to choose, I'd rather that they were looking at my face while I finger my butt than my actual butt with the finger in it. I mean, that just seems like you, you don't want to go the whole nine. No, 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 no. I'm just saying if, if, if you do it wrong, you're but not Stop selling. after only nine fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tenth finger. Is it? Is, uh, um... That's, I mean, I, I think you got to give them the, you got to give them the, the, the bid, the business. I mean, they're. I guess we're going in a weird. We're, no, just, there's nothing weird about anything we're talking weird about. about right us now. Dis discussing the proper framing of. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Here, and, let me, and, allow me to properly frame the debate. Figuring. Uh -huh. And those flip flops. Oh god. Yeah, the, that's the most offensive part. <laughs> to Bryce. <laughs> the flip flops. FLS Carnage says just split screen with a cam on your face and a cam on your butthole. I mean, sure, but. But no, the, but you are missing. Is that Brian is talking? Brian, if nothing else, is a man of the theater. <laughs> Live performance is the only true connection. What, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that is that what matters is in your heart. It's in your brain. No. That's what people actually want to fuck. What if it's what if what if it's like fingering in the round, right? Like people people get a good look. How they get to set their own good Did look. Did you look. know that in Shakespearean times, <laughs> all of the women? Uh, who fingered their butt in the round were actually, <laughs> actually <like> men. <laughs> Did you know that back in C. Shakespeare, and this is Tyrion Lannister voice, did you know that back in... Fucking deep cut. <laughs> deep cut. The audio, the Roy Dotrice audiobook reading of Tyrion Lannister's voice. Not uh, the popular uh, characterization of Peter Dick <laughs> in Thrones. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you believe? <laughs> who believe that my sisters was fucking Parcel Lannister? <laughs> Can you believe? Deep butt. <laughs> um. So yeah, you know, uh, but. But you, now you don't have to see The Conjuring 2, you know. <laughs> 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 you You are trying to conjure again? I like that idea of us just spoiling movies, though. <laughs> that we haven't seen? I like that one. That's good. This can be solved on chat your bait. Should and jury can critique anal fingering techniques until they agree on it. I interviewed uh, somebody who makes their living on Chatterbait. Doxy. Yeah. Who? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Who? I did an interview. I wanted to interview a cam girl because I, I like the idea of interviewing people with, with fun jobs. And uh, so I interviewed this cam girl and she was really nice. She was, uh, she, she also, she was a cam girl and she also does blacksmithing. Uh, I hesitate to say stuff because I don't know who wants to be outed or whatever. Um, there was uh there's somebody uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> She's gay. Bryce is gay. <laughs> I don't know who wants to be outed, but <laughs> Well, that's out now. Way to go, Justin. I think we did a real good job of keeping this secret for the last year and a half. Way to fuck it all up. <laughs> huh. Oh God. <sighs> uh, so wait, wait. Who who do you want to who do you want to out? No, no, no. There was a uh, somebody who there was somebody who was a guest on a program I did who. Also <laughs> ran for city council, who also was a cam girl. Uh, and uh, is that known? Khaleesi. Khaleesi? <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's why I'm being. Well, how did you know? Because Jason Murphy told me and said, be careful with that one. Wait, somebody had Jason Murphy's name in the chat room before you said it, which is really funny. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Man, I'll tell you what, you can't put, Jason Murphy can't do a handstand because if he did so many dirty, weird secrets would just fall out. It would Fall out of his pockets? Um. So wait, did so th- that was just something that you knew? Yeah, no, 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 and and it's kept it's, in your pocket. Well, it's funny because I don't know if she was a curious character, and I, if I was unfairly judging her because I had heard that going into it, or if she was a curious character, and that's the kind of people who don't give a rat's ass and and say, yeah, I'll take twenty bucks for you to look at my butthole. So, all Are right, they exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, I don't know, if man. If it's who I think it might be, who I also don't know at all, like she seemed a curious character. Mm, I don't know. Saying low. <laughs> now, when you're fingering your asshole, <laughs> Earth is going crazy for you fingering your asshole. You can't. You walk down the streets. Everybody's saying, "Finger your asshole." Finger, finger your asshole. Finger your asshole. Finger when are you going to drop the new shit, man? When are you going to drop the new shit? The new finger your asshole shit. Who, who are you asking? Uh, Zane Lowe is asking the cam girl that he's interviewing in my, in my impression of Zane Lowe doing and, and, every And, and who, who's the cam girl? Uh, I don't know. I mean, oh. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> the paparazzi just didn't leave me alone, you know? It's just like, let me work. Like, I have my own private life. Uh, did you guys see the Diamond, Diamond Club had made a... Uh... Oh, yeah. A little in-your-house writer for me. Yeah. So, number one, we have the original Sin City. Number two, you have to make at least one kind offering to jury for me to reject. <laughs> uh, number three, you have to make at least two kind offerings. So, I presumably accept one. 
You must have one dose of heroin ready for injection at the start of the night. <laughs> a box of 12 powdered booty holes in the dressing room. No hand jobs. No races. Keep your shirts on. Keep your pants on. This means you spags. Uh, keep your underwear and or panties on. When south of the Makes and Dixon line, do not mention the war. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it. Must have a copy of the contender game on display in all rooms. Jury must encounter. No sriracha facials. Bunchums to be removed from all sleeping spaces. You must provide a working air horn. Thou shalt not kill without permission. <laughs> without permission. But not- even then, expect a visit from Chris Hansen. No. Do not join in Stasa limitations and please don't die. Some people say nobody should join in on a Stasa limitation. That somehow when a single person impersonates John Stossel, it's sacrosanct. The government believes that you should have a John Stossel impression in your back pocket at all times. (laughs) And if you don't, they'll take your hard-earned money. (laughs) This man's an imposter. I paid him $20 and gave him a handjob so that he would appear on my show to impersonate me. Right here in New York, the original Sin City. (laughs) (laughs) With the moment I got here, someone offered me some heroin, and I said, no thank you, I stutter. But then he said, but would you like some heroin? To which I said, of course. After all, he'd offered it to me twice. So we played volleyball on my 64th birthday, Shortly before I got lung cancer. Now, let me tell you about the customer service at that hotel. And or by the way, I mean lung cancer is in the disease, not lung uh, thing that looks like two people blowing each other. <laughs> Some people thought I'd bought a lung fish and tattooed upon it the logo to Ministry's 1992 album, Psalm 69. I'm John Stossel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, look at that. May have jerked off to that butt on the really? Psalm 69 cover. And and this is me legitimately not remembering for sure, but like I you think I was happen. vaguely aware that that was a woman's butt. I mean, to be fair, when you're at a certain age, man, doesn't take a lot. Right? Doesn't take a lot. Just skeet, skeet, skeet. Um, all right, man. I think I'm going to tap out. I think I'm going to tap that ass. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Get ready. You can just watch my face. The nice. Sandalaws. Love you guys. Happy Tuesday.